Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Fair warning, the first part of this video is about watching paint thinner dry, which isn't the most interesting thing that's ever happened on a vlog. So I thought I'd start out with something a little bit more impressive. Look, fire! The goal for today is to not go to the hardware store again. So here's what we got. We're gonna try out this uh, chemical here for stripping the paint. I got some drop cloths uh, because we're gonna have to let it soak a little bit is what I've been reading online. Everyone says this stuff works really well, um, but we actually have to let it soak. And so they recommend putting a layer on there, covering it with uh, some plastic. So I got a drop cloth, got my gloves. I don't need hearing protection for this, but we um, picked that up. I'll get some goggles as well. Uh, bucket, poncho, because I'm gonna try to use the pressure washer to spray this stuff off and I just don't want a bunch of chemical bouncing back on me. We've got our brushes to apply it and we've got some scrapers because we'll need to remove some of the uh, uh, flakier bits of rust uh, before we apply the rust converter. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with today. We'll see how it goes. So here we have it. Uh, we have everything that we were working on all covered up and coated so we will see what happens now i'm probably going to let it sit for about two hours and see what happens After removing the paint from the tongue and the propane tanks, I moved inside to start working on the frame. After removing all the paint from the frame, we moved on to grinding down the worst parts of the rust with an angle grinder. Welcome back. Today we're using this product called Cora Seal. Um, it's just a kind of a cleaner, uh, cleans up metal or whatever other stuff. It looks like it's good for cleaning cement too, just kind of whatever you need. Um, but it's just kind of an industrial soap. Uh, supposed to clean off the metal make sure that we don't have any sort of uh, contaminants, chemicals, whatever uh, on there uh, before we put the, um, the corrosion inhibitor, the, the rust, uh, rust converter on there. Um, so we'll get that cleaned up today. I'll take you in there and show you how we're going to do that. And uh, once we get that finished up, uh, then we'll dry it out and tomorrow we will paint or do the corrosion inhibitor actually. Also, I just realized that I apparently dropped my phone and it put a nice crack in the screen protector and that is what is causing all of these weird lines across the screen. So, have fun with that. After using the cleaner, we used the core seal rust converter to convert rust, in, which is unstable, into something that's more stable called magnetite. Let's go find out. Now it was time to weld. For those of you worried about my eyesight right now, don't worry. I looked away and closed my eyes while filming this clip. Here's 
what we have so far. Uh, the Cora seal went on great. Um, it was pretty easy to do. It took me a minute. This is the first time for me using a paint sprayer. And so it took me a minute to kind of dial in the settings. Also, you do want a pretty thick coat uh, on the rust. So um, there were just a couple places I missed um, after thinking about it. I'm not going to do a second coat. I'm just going to hit those spots that didn't do quite as well that, or th that I didn't get a very thick coat on. And uh, I'll probably just call it a day after that. I figure the first coat is bonded to the rust. What in the world is the second coat bonded to? So uh, we'll do that tomorrow once this dries enough and uh, we'll get that second coat going and uh, or the uh, just the spot check going and then we'll um, and then we'll do the paint. My phone is about to die, but just so you all have an idea of where we look after that first coat of paint, we're looking pretty good. It took me a minute to get the paint sprayer dialed in in the back, so we're going to have a little bit more to do there tomorrow, but otherwise uh, shouldn't need too much work tomorrow, so hopefully this coat dries pretty well. We've got our fans going on it. Found this fun way to install the fans. I got one on the other side too. Uh, so we'll get some air moving in there and hopefully get this place dried out uh, by tomorrow so that I can get that other coat on because Saturday, two days from now, we have a nice big work day. We're having some friends come out and help and uh, really wanted the, uh, the frame done by then so that we can work on the, uh, the plumbing. So that's where we are right now. <laughs> 